All right, today we're going to do a demonstration of an unboxing of a new router. Our internet has been really, really slow. Uh, we've had some problems with our Linksys WRT54G, and we've decided to upgrade our router to the newest Linksys Smart Wi-Fi router, AE6500. Uh, we're going to take it out of the box and uh, get a few screenshots and uh, see what it looks like. As we so we bought the uh, Linksys uh, Smart Router from Amazon.com. Uh, I believe it was about $192. Uh, I got free shipping on Amazon Prime and it showed up in my uh, uh, front door within two days. So that was pretty cool. Um, anyways, we are going to take it out of the box. All right, so the box has this nice little bit of saran wrap on there or whatever you want to call it shrink wrap I think is the proper term we're gonna rip that off like it's Christmas uh, 1999 and we'll go and see how we open up the box um, whoa look at that very neatly put together and we'll pull that out and boy there's not much in here for $192 we got a little thing you know kind of looks like a little spacecraft and then we got our little CD thing and then our simple tap um, instructions. You know, with today's computers, come on, Cisco, it is 2013. How many computers come with a CD drive anymore? This is ridiculous. It should be online or some kind of a USB drive or some other technology. You know, um, I don't have any computers uh, built in the last two years that have a CD drive on them. That's annoying. And we got our Ethernet cable and our AC adapter. And the reason we chose this device is in my household, we have more than uh, five devices um, uh, using the internet it. here in a second, but we, we have at least five or six devices using the internet simultaneously. Oh yes, our Wii and our Xbox. On the Wii we use Netflix, and on the Xbox we use Xbox Live, and so we can easily have five, six, seven devices sucking massive bandwidth all at the same time. And this device, uh, the D-Class from Cisco, is designed to uh, um, handle more than six or seven devices at the same time. So I went on the brief rant about uh, the CDs, and I got thinking, like, if I worked for this company, you know, uh, Cisco or Linksys or whoever it is, I would like to say to the CEO, imagine how much money you could save on every single box if you eliminated this device and came up with an easier way to deliver the software. Think about it. This has got to cost more than a nickel. If you sold a million devices, you do the math how much money you put in the the investors pockets. So a thought when uh, um, setting up your router for the first time, uh, a couple of best practices, uh, make sure you change the default uh, router name uh, to something personal. Maybe most people do that, you know, name their home network fuzzy kitty or something like that. Uh, make sure uh, that you enable the encryption and turn on a complex password or passphrase and uh, uh, make sure you add an administrative password that's uh, reasonably complicated. This particular Cisco device uh, is, um, I believe, managed through a web interface that connects directly to one of Cisco's websites uh, so you'll make sure you want to have a strong password and something that is unique and not similar to your other home passwords since it will be available for access from the outside uh, the internet um, also uh, in reference to passwords I'm recommending uh, the use of LastPass uh, for password management okay so we are going to begin uh, connecting the router to my uh, EPC my little netbook and see if we can figure out how to configure it without a CD drive I also got to figure out how to pause this video here. Let's see. Oh, there it is. All right. So this took a couple of seconds for me to figure out. Now, remember, I mentioned that we don't have a CD drive, so and there's no instructions that came with this. And since I'm trying to connect to the Internet, I have currently no access to the Internet on my laptop. So I had to get a little bit creative. So as I showed you previously, we plugged in the physical Ethernet cable and tried to get an IP address. But for whatever reason, because it's not configured, it wouldn't give me an address through DHCP. But it did allow me to connect through the wireless network, and from there I was able to grab what the default IP address was. So using the uh, command ipconfig all from a command prompt, I was able to pull the IP address it gave me, and I was quickly able to find out that the default gateway for this particular router is uh, uh, 192.168.1.1. And so now that I know I have an address of 1.135, I can connect to this address uh, through a web browser. And so we're gonna use Firefox here. And sure enough, uh, we were able okay. to connect to the Wi-Fi. Quiet, please. Okay. All right, so the first window we get when connecting to the router interface is uh, the router is not set up. It looks like they want us to check this bit so that we're not stupid and don't forget, uh, this is covering their legal butt, that we forget that we need to actually secure down this router. So we'll say that, and I'm assuming there's a next button on here somewhere. Oh, look, continue. That's user intuitive. 
And we check over there, and it's waiting for the router. And sure enough, uh, sign in, log in with your router password. Internet connection is down. Huh. So I'm assuming because I'm not connected to my internet that they want me to create an account. Let's see, you must have an internet connection to log into your Linksys smart Wi-Fi account to access your router settings. Well, how am I supposed to configure it when I'm not connected to the internet? Uh, we're going to have to figure this out here in a few minutes. Well, lo and behold, uh, good old Linksys, good old Cisco uses the uh, classic default router password. Uh, I typed in admin, all lowercase, all lowercase, A-D-M-I-N, without connecting to the Internet. And now I have a local control over the router. And we'll proceed to go through the windows here. This is a pain in the butt. So far, it's been a pretty straightforward menu. Um, if you're familiar with routers, uh, you can kind of, uh, you know, uh, what's the word, uh, work your way through it, but uh, if you're not familiar, this is definitely going to be a little bit confusing. Um, but basically, we're going to look at our connectivity settings. Um, that's where we're going to connect it to our um, ISP provided device or our modem um, in there, and uh, I haven't configured that yet because I have chosen not to connect it to my modem until I've successfully configured my uh, wireless settings, and then I can swap them out. I can use my phone, uh, my Windows Nokia 920 phone. If I have any questions about the internet in the meantime while my laptop is connected to this with no internet access. And you can see there's a back button uh, on here and then there's a little link for troubleshooting issues. But what we're most interested in right now is the wireless connection and setting up security. Under here um, I went ahead and left the default name. This is not recommended but I left it for just uh, the video purposes today. And then I added a password and I cho chose the WPA2 WPA mixed personal settings and uh, left the channel settings uh, to the default. Cool, cool. Notice the disconnect warning. This is really important when you're managing wireless devices that you know uh, what you've done and what you're going to do because we are going to temporarily lose wireless access to our router. And what's going to happen down here um, is uh, it's going to disconnect and then it's going to connect And it's going to ask us for our security key, and we need to know that it's three fuzzy kittens. And hopefully, we did it right. It allows us to connect back to our router. And then I set the, uh, the internal IP address to my router to 99.1. So I've changed the default gateway for the router from 1.1 to 99.1. Why do I do that? I have no idea. It just seems like a reasonable thing to do. And we're back to our router menu. All right, so for review, uh, this should be enough to get us on the Internet with a relative amount of safety. And then it will take us uh, some uh, investigation on Cisco's website on how we create an account there to do the more advanced management of this device because I believe it's actually through uh, the Cisco website, but I have to look into that more. But in the meantime, uh, we've configured our basic uh, router settings for our, uh, inter our SSID and our network password and we've configured our wireless uh, security settings. Um, we're using the WPA2 uh, WPA mixed personal, and we left the default settings on the, uh, the channels and the channel width, um, and I will be changing the, uh, the, the network name, the SSID, to something internal here shortly, but for the purpose of this video, I left the, uh, the default one. Anyways. Okay, so that was the unofficial unboxing of the uh, Cisco smart router, the AE6500. Uh, you saw it here. Only in Idaho.